Are you tired of having to depend on glasses or contacts to see? Do you wish you could just wake up in the morning and see the world in focus? Well, joining me now is Dr. Jeffrey Gold, an award-winning ophthalmologist who's performed more than 11,000 procedures, and his patient, Jim Norton. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. Jim, let's start with you. Tell me a little bit about uh, your vision prior to having uh, the surgery done. Prior to the surgery, Teresa, I couldn't see from me to you. It was ah. that bad. I couldn't see the E on the chart. I think that's the best way to explain it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the E's thing. kind of big. You knew you it's had to do something, big. right? It's a little big. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we were chatting that uh, your family swims. Your wife doesn't swim so much, but if you were out in the ocean, there might be a problem. That was uh, one of the deciding factors, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, we were out swimming, and if one of my sons ha actually went down, what are you going to do? You sit there and there's nothing you can do. So at that point in time, I said it's time to get something done. Yeah, and sometimes yeah. contacts are just annoying, right? Con exactly. Contacts, uh, waking up at night, well, at night before you go to bed to uh, clean your contacts, mm -hmm. put them in, put them when you got to put the solutions, clean them out every every week with the, the uh, protein <laughs> things. Sure. Uh, enough. You, right. you just had enough. Enough with the chemicals in your eyes. Just uh, at that point in time, I said I had enough. You did. So you found Dr. Gold, and uh, Dr. Gold, there's LASIK and EpiLASIK. Why don't you explain the difference for us? I can best explain the difference using this model that I brought with me. Okay. In LASIK, the cornea gets cut open and a flap gets folded back. The laser then changes the shape of the corneal bed. The flap then goes back down, and although the edge seals overnight, the interface between those two layers never fully heals. So for the rest of that person's life, if they get hit in the eye just the wrong way and the flap comes loose, they've got one hour to find me to fix it. And as a result of that knowledge now, I have pretty much abandoned doing LASIK. Mm -hmm. I do EpiLASIK, and I think we have a graphic that shows how EpiLASIK is accomplished. In the picture on the right, there's LASIK with the flap folded back. In the picture on the left, you can see that I have not cut the cornea. I've just removed the surface layer of cells with a device that works much like a snowplow on your driveway. Uh, it uses physics to figure out where the cells have to be pushed off. And that layer of cells from the outer surface of the cornea is thrown away. And the laser then changes the shape of the second layer down instead of deep in the third layer, as happens in LASIK. And the, um, the cells that were removed then grow back over the next three days. Mm -hmm. And that cornea is as structurally sound forever as it always was but the vision has been changed. And there's really no pain associated with this. Usually you send your patients home that day. That's right. The, uh, I keep the procedure painless and the post-operative period is kept painless mm -hmm. by using anti-inflammatory eye drops and uh, some cortisone pills in order to prevent inflammation because inflammation is what causes eye pain. Mm -hmm. And so the only restrictions that people have uh, after the surgery is there's no hard rubbing of the eye allowed. Uh, shower water instead of in the face, shower has to come from the back, and there can be no exposure to tobacco smoke. Got it. All of those restrictions for about a week. And ultimately, it's, it's safer than wearing contacts. Clearly, the, in, the issue with uh, long-term safety versus contact lenses is the issue of infection. And the uh, percentage of infection with laser vision correction is way, way less than 1%, whereas the infection rate with contact lenses is closer to 10%. Mm -hmm. so. um, and let me ask you, who is a, an ideal candidate to have the EpiLASIK? Just about anybody beyond the age of 18. Mm -hmm. then there's there, at some there's point, no it? real upper limit. Okay. Um, and when I see young people, 18, 19, 20, uh, I insist on retrieving their records from their previous three eye exams. And as soon as their vision has stopped changing, mm -hmm. they can have the surgery done. Very good. And Jim, uh, what advice or recommendations would you have for someone considering the surgery? Well, think about this. I can wake up in the morning and see the clock and what time it is. That's incredible. That's, <laughs> That's <laughs> so, huge. So we can relate to that. It's, it's, it's huge. A life changer um, probably, right? I would say that. Uh, don't put it off. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to talk. Uh, whoever I see, I'm, I'm like a disciple. <laughs> get it, get, get it, it done. done. Don't, do not wait. Just get it done. Why, why suffer? Very good. And the best thing is, Dr. Gold, you always have a special deal for uh, Connecticut Style viewers. Before we go there, I'd like to talk about something else, um, about what makes my practice unique. Okay. In that I'm the one that the patient sees when they first come in to get their screening evaluation to determine whether they're a good candidate or not. I'm the one who does the pre-op exam with the exception of one scan that my outstanding assistant is better at doing than I am, so she does it. Uh, then I do the surgery and I do all of the post-op care. 
unlike at some of the larger centers um, in our area where the patient never even gets to meet the surgeon until this day of surgery. I'm working right now with a woman who went to one of the larger centers and had her workup done by an optometrist who then didn't get what she wanted, mm -hmm. which was monovision, one eye for far, one eye for near. Okay. And so he communicated to the surgeon not about monovision, and she had her surgery done several years ago, and she's been miserable ever since. Well, she came in to see me about a month ago. I did her workup, and she now has monovision that it. she <laughs> wanted all along, right. and she's absolutely thrilled. So I think it's important that people get worked up by the person who's going to do the surgery. I think that makes sense. And the special offer that we have is anybody who calls in and mentions this show uh, receives a $200 per eye discount, and we've also extended that same uh, special offer to first responders and active duty and retired military. Very good. All right. You can see all that on your screen there if you want to get a hold of Dr. Gold. Uh, you're also on Facebook. You're uh, very active on social media. And you can find that, but of course, uh, libertyvision.net. You can do that or you can call 203-281-5745. Thank you for being here. Thanks. Jim, thanks for sharing your story. Thank you. <laughs>